go time. It's go time. <laughs> yeah, that's a good. One. That has to be a fundamental um, tenet of our whole notion of, of spirituality. We we don't want to absolute force things on a people. Just like uh, like a Elizabeth. Uh, Stop going to her church, and those people, you know, she got put on this prayer group, and people start calling her, and and uh, you know, almost like a telephone salesman trying to get you to hurry up and buy something, you know. Yeah. Well, I, I don't, uh, I don't subscribe to that notion. I don't think the human spirit is is built that way. It, we have to create a, a, a loving and and caring environment where if people want to come and be a part of it and grow with us, then great. If not, then uh, they're, free to they're free. They're free to come and go as they as they choose. Unlike you know, like Scientology or yeah, yeah or you know, any, anything else. But you know, I mean, a lot of religions have been used to manipulate the people. Yeah, and that's the whole reason, uh, one of the reasons, not the whole reason, one of the reasons why we uh, started this church. We've been getting together on Sundays for years. And and we don't want to manipulate anyone. Uh, we want to get to the root and, and, uh, and continue to further deepen these uh, understandings of what consciousness is and why we are here and what, what does it mean uh, to help the other fellow consciousnesses <laughs> out, yeah. Because a lot of them, they don't know it's, they don't know anything either. They're, no, they've been gonna, told something and they've been yeah. manipulating it. Yeah. And, and there are bits and pieces of uh, other religions that I think make sense on a scientific level, like we've mentioned before, reincarnation, which we're going to explore that in depth. Uh, there are some things you can't refute. Uh, And those need to those need to be explored in an open-minded way, and not push that idea on anyone. We can look at the scientific evidence, and uh, if people want to believe it, fine. If not, fine. It's, yeah. the, it's the same way with uh, karma. Uh, if you're good to somebody or bad to somebody, it normally comes back in kind. Not all the time. Maybe not in this life. <laughs> but it, but it does, and it does scar you. I think it's it's. It's harmful to somebody when they're bad. I think it is. So if, if you're doing harm to somebody else, you're doing harm to yourself in an equal way. And possibly even worse. This Monte Cristo is pretty good. And one thing, I think this is the first video that we've uh, that I, I've smoked a cigar. Uh, I'm a massive fan of cigars, and uh, I've had this notion since I was a, started smoking them at 15 that, uh, as childish and as imaginary as it is, that uh, but there's some truth behind it. That as I smoke, it goes inside of me, and I blow out my magical smoke into the world, which I've always thought were my thoughts. My thoughts were going out into the universe. I don't need a cigar for that. It's just a symbol of uh, what I believe, and I really enjoy it, and it calms my soul. Knowing that this uh, magical uh, smoke, as I like to call it, goes out into the universe. Need some soap? Come here. Y'all better now? Good. That's a comfortable chair. Yeah. Just the right fit. <laughs> That's 
to that, that will be one of our, uh, because I've been uh, attempting to write out, as people get here, you know, they're going to, of course, ask us, you know, well, what are your, what are the you know, fundamental beliefs? And that, that's a difficult thing to nail down other than, Especially when you're not trying to impose on somebody else. Makes yeah, it really yeah. difficult to nail down. Yeah, because I don't want I want us to help each other be the the best we can be, uh, help people in in true need that want to help themselves. Because you can't help anybody that doesn't want to help themselves, whether it's through learning or uh, spirituality and connecting these dots that, uh, that we're doing mostly off camera, but uh, we're going to start recording a lot of these discussions. And uh, yeah, uh, like uh, meditation, for example, uh, people meditate in different ways. Uh, in Hindu, you know, they're big, um, big on meditation in, in certain specific ways uh, where they're, you know, sitting like this and, and doing their meditation. Well, I don't like to meditate like that. I can sit and close my eyes and and, uh, and I've, I've read a lot about meditation and uh, uh, try to use some of those techniques. Well, is there one or right way to simply meditate? Is there one or right, right way to uh, uh, for people to pray? Like, uh, I believe in the power of prayer. I don't necessarily believe, uh, well, I certainly don't believe in the power of, uh, yeah, or the notion of uh, Muslim or Hindu or praying to, you know, Krishna or Jesus or any of that. But when people have good intent, it's scientifically proven you change the content of water with intent. That, that's just a scientific fact. So no matter what your religion or what you're basing your prayer upon, if you're intending something good for somebody else, it has a positive impact. That's just a fact. So I'm pro-prayer in whatever religion, whatever it's for, uh, for the betterment of, of yourself and the people you care about and the people you don't even know. So that, that's a long-winded way to say, yeah, I'm pro-prayer, but it, uh, when people ask, well, what do you pray to? What, what do you pray? Uh, you know, prayer can be anything. It can be as simple as a thought. You know, I'm wishing the best thing on to that person, or uh, I'm really thinking about that person in, in a good way. Uh, I mean, those all could be defined as prayer. Well, like when we were in the Middle East, we asked them, well, what happens when it's, you're driving and it's time to pray? Well, they said basically just that, a simple little prayer as you're driving down the road. And yeah. we don't stop and they don't stop and get out and bow down to Mecca. They just, a simple little thought. That's their prayer. Right. Yeah. But they're taking the time of the day to do it. Yeah. Which I think most people don't take the time of the day to do it or have their full intent behind what they're praying to anyway. That's right, and, and you think of, um, it's just my piece by, it's just dropping that line. They, uh, so, free wills colliding. Uh, we're, we're, we as a, we as a church are against that. We are, uh, we believe in the power of, of positive thoughts and intention, and especially because both of those things are observably true. One thing about what we're uh, doing and building is that we're basing our, our whole belief systems on observable things that can be proven. 
it's proven if you're not looking and I punch you in the jaw, it's going to hurt. Yes. You know, <laughs> and, and I know for, a, and we know for a fact that if we wish good intent on the water and freeze those water crystals, you change the composition of it. We also know, hey, uh, we're recording. We, we also know that, um, <laughs> got interrupted and lost my train of thought. Oh, positive water crystals. Well, well, all, all those things are are things you can observe. Like uh, it's it's impossible for me now to refute reincarnation because uh, Ian Stevenson did such a scientific, remarkable job on thousands of cases. You just can't explain. You just can't explain. And. Uh, Edgar Casey is another prime example. You cannot explain his power of clairvoyance. Uh, other than him having uh, an ability that we probably all have and don't know how to exercise. Uh, being able to feel other people's ailments without any sort of medical expertise and know exactly what their problems were and prescribe exactly what they needed. Uh, to help them in thousands of proven cases. I think that's probably something that everyone has and doesn't exercise because you know when the people around you are having a hard time, a bad time, or upset, you know those things without them telling you. You feel their energy. Yeah, you feel it. I mean, everyone's had those cases. You feel their energy. It's not, um, that's something provable. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you came in here and you were extremely happy or extremely sad because I know you so well I would know like that yeah, you know. yeah I know if you were irritated I could just tell <laughs> so that those are things that we feel uh, your emotions affect my water and vice versa yeah or like they're uh, training dogs now to find sickness in people because the dog can Feel, feel the it. aura. They can feel that coming off the person. Yeah. That the person might not even know it. Yeah. The dog can feel it. So those auras or fields or whatever you want to call them, they definitely exist. Because again, through science, we're training dogs to be able to detect and pick up on these things. And those are just things that are, are uh, uh, vital to us and our congregation that we're building. Nope. Is that, hey, hey, Robbie, come back. Don't, don't touch the camera. No, don't touch it. Let me make sure. Did you move it? Let's just check it out and see. Let's just check it out. No, you're good. But those things are what we want to promote. Even though that there's so many things in, in so many religions that have some truth. Uh, yeah, I like the example of reminding yourself that you have a a third eye, uh, the pineal gland, and putting a dot on your forehead. And as a notion of uh, being welcomed and loved and being able to have an open mind. I agree with that 100%. Yes. There's nothing to disagree with. If we have a third eye, <laughs> it's, it's, it's plainly obvious in a uh, inobservable in a scientific way, uh, like we discussed with the remote viewing. Yeah. So the, it's, it's totally obvious whenever you infringe upon someone's free will, they resist it, they back off. Uh, they, they get irritated, agitated. They shut their mind off to you. Even if they love and care about you, they just blank out and don't, yeah. don't care what you're saying. So we want to, well, it's not what we want to do, what we're doing and, and going to do in a, in a much grander way, especially as we grow the congregation, is to say our, our beliefs are fundamentally based on what we can prove. And it's not you. We're not praying to... Uh, a Jesus or a Krishna or a Shiva or, or something that is uh, 
in our minds, in our view, uh, mythical. We, we, I want and will have our congregation to focus on what is the potential of man. Well, Edgar Casey proves that he can cure. He was able to cure people's ailments from thousands of miles away that he never met or knew. That's remarkable, and that's not up for debate. He did it yeah. for for thousands and thousands of people, and and it's documented and proven. Same way with Ian Stevenson on uh, creation. Nope. Don't throw that. <laughs> yeah, those kind of. Those are the fundamental tenets of, of what we believe. Things that are observable and proven. <laughs> Is it a game? <laughs> You're gonna lose. <laughs> Do you have any thoughts on uh, where I'm going with that line of uh, thinking and belief system? I mean, I think we're on the same page on that. I mean, it's kind of always started the church in the beginning. If we're on the same page of that whole that. line of reasoning, yeah. I mean, I mean, I think our spirituality uh, is proven in what um, in what already exists. We we're just molding it down to, uh, to tenets that are easily explainable to other people. Mm -hmm. And that's just, that just takes a little time to do. And it takes time to build a congregation uh, of that, you know, because we're, we're just in the very beginning. That and we're really completely different than all the other religions. I mean... Yeah, I mean, we're told, we're just, we're based solely on consciousness, uh, which I equate uh, to spirituality, I mean, we are a, a spirit housed in this temple that uh, has a free will that we need to nurture in others to uh, to promote good karma with in ourselves and with other people. That basically is what it boils down to. Yeah, it's one hundred percent what it comes down to. Yeah. Well, you fell asleep fast. <laughs> Playing hard. Wish I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't have jet lag though. <laughs> His play hard lag. <laughs> Who do you have for? I have four. You do have jet lag? I have track. I have track I did four. Y'all take note, that's a really a profound statement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call it a yeah, call it quiz on that one. Good job. <laughs>